everyone and welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today to watch how are you all i hope you're all doing okay so i've got a plan with me to share with you today and i'm a little bit excited about this one guys so i found on etsy a shop that's brand new to me and it's called kelly and designs and i've been basically searching up for like large deco stickers floral stickers etc anyway she's got some fab pieces on her shop and yeah i picked up a couple so i'm using one this week and one for next week uh this is one i'm using for this week i think this is called spooky halloween and i had to pick this one up purely for this chair i just absolutely love that uh this is some florals some more florals and then this is the other deco sheet like this like just these are just super cute this is super cute this is i don't know why i find this hilarious uh, <laughs> don't know why it's a ghost wearing a scarf um but anyway yeah and i have just printed these out onto trans matte transparent paper i'm gonna be hand cutting them out today because i'm being super super lazy and could not be able to set up my cutting machine um so i'm going to hand cut them but being on transparent paper it's very very forgiving um also some other things i've got is just some date dots uh month stickers and some daily scripts for my daily pages so without further ado shall we get into it uh, so go ahead and grab yourself your favorite drink your snacks put your feet up relax grab your planner if you want to plan along and let's plan for next week <music> okay then guys so i'm actually very late recording this voiceover um i actually had harriet off unwell for three days last week and yeah so i filmed this i think it was on like the tuesday and then she fell unwell like the wednesday well the kind of really the tuesday when she got home from school and um yeah i just not had time to voice it over it's as I'm doing this voiceover, it's like six o'clock Monday evening. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do apologize that this video is going up very late, but I'm doing it and I'm getting it uploaded for you guys. So um, just doing the base of the spread as always. Honestly, like, I just love how this has turned out and I do think I've found my kind of, potentially my new way of planning in this planner on these inserts just using like these big deco sheets i just absolutely love them and i cannot wait to plan out for next week uh, using the other set that i purchased from kelly and designs but in regards to this week coming um it's actually a pretty busy one for me so in regards to today um James had dentist today. Uh, that was just uh, honestly, how expensive a dentist got. I mean, like we're very fortunate that you know, of course, we can uh, like afford it. But I did say to James, like, I'm due to go dentist at like beginning of November, and if I said James, like, if they come at me saying like I need this or that done, um, I'm gonna be like, sorry, I can't afford it uh, because you've literally just rinsed my husband. But like they, he had like a couple of uh, replacement fillings that, that weren't even bothering him. But she was just like, oh, you know, it's you, you've got like old filling stuff in there that's basically like you're not allowed to have any more and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so um, yeah, it was an expensive day for James. <laughs> an expensive day. Um, we, I did originally write in here that me and my sister-in-law were going to look at some kennels. Um, but that's moved to tomorrow now. Um, but yeah, in regards to today, so with James having the dentist, he actually ended up having a day off and we went to a garden centre um, near us called Meadowcroft and they have like the German market. And we've been meet, wanting to go for like a couple of weeks now, but every time we turn up there, it's like mobbed. And we usually, like, we have the girls with us and we're just like, I cannot tackle, like, busyness with the kids. Um, it's not really Harry, it's Ostara, I'm not going to lie. Uh, she's like, you know, 
I feel like she's someone that can't handle like busyness as well. Um, anyway, and James isn't very good with busy, like when places are really, really busy. So, yeah, so we've been kind of like, we drive, you know, gone to go there and then driven straight past is like far too busy. But um, yeah, James having the day off today, we went and it was still, it was really weird because like the overflow car park, which they have, was like full. Um, and I was just like, doesn't no one work anymore? Like this is like half 11 on a Monday and it's like the two car parks they've got a full um and it was just ridiculous but then we went in there and it wasn't that busy at all in there and it's not i wouldn't say it's like a a, a big uh, garden center but yeah and i'm just a little bit like what what's going where is everyone and then we saw the queue for the restaurant <laughs> and we was like that's where everyone is everyone's there they're they're eating um so yeah we had a look round. we Yes, we did buy some Christmas bits because James and I are Mr. and Mrs. Christmas. We love Christmas. It's our favourite time of the year. Um, and, yeah, so we did pick up, like, a couple of nutcrackers. We picked up some, um, like, Christmassy snacks to basically eat now. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. Um, re- it was so good. Like, they are, like, at the minute... Uh, like trumping like it was brilliant i was so like compared to even to last year they, they they outdone themselves like compared to last year for this year it was really really good um so so we ran a little look around there uh just the usual things for a monday like osara pe how it had a solo one-to-one dance and um at this present moment james has just took uh harriet's gymnastics and um, I'm actually alone because oh, Star wanted to go up to her nan's. So she's currently up there um, with her nan. And then uh, tomorrow, um, like I just said, that we, me and my sister went to go and look at some kennels. We're going there tomorrow. Harriet's got her first netball match, which I'm going to go and watch. Uh, I used to play netball in primary school and secondary school. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going and see her play. And then Wednesday... Harriet's got a football tournament for the school and that's like a, a morning thing. So it's like half nine to half twelve and I've got to take her there and take her back to school. Um, I've got to take her friend as well because her mum couldn't get out of work. So that's, uh, I've got to do my mum duties and do my good deed for the day, <laughs> as I like to say. Um, I was meant to be meeting up with my friend on Thursday and... I am thinking of potentially cancelling it because I've got to, I've, I take my medication on a Wednesday and my medication has been upped and I don't quite know how I'm going to feel. Um, and so I kind of, I won't be taking my medication till really the evening on Wednesday because I've got to take the girls to the tournament. So... I'm a little bit like, okay, and I just don't know how I'm going to really feel because it's been upped. So I'm going to kind of preempt and just sort of cancel the meet up with my friend, which is a shame because I would like to really meet up with her. But if I'm if I'm going to feel groggy, it's just like no point um, kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, and then just the normal things of like payday and um, Harriet dancing, uh only on Saturday, um, just her normal dance class. There's no extra rehearsals uh, for uh, dancing this weekend, which uh, is good. Um, she did miss last weekend because of her being unwell. Even though by, like, the Saturday she was, like, getting better, I always kind of think it's best to just try and recover as much as possible from when you, you know you're not been feeling great and so um yeah I just uh I opted just to sort of leave her like not send her dancing let her recoup let her recover and uh, she's gone back to school today and she was you know obviously a lot better uh she did have some medicine before going to school um, but yeah, as a general rule, she is absolutely uh, fine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the rundown of what's happening this week. Um, I've got my planner in front of me. I was meant to, <laughs> I've got like, 
a whole load of get this done chores on my list for today, which is all going to be moved over to tomorrow now. Um, because yeah, that obviously didn't happen because <laughs> I was too busy going out and looking at, um, things like Christmas stuff. Um, James and I actually popped a home base today as well, because we, we still have some stuff left over in our, um, old place. And, um, my father-in-law, like James's dad was like, kind of, we need you to like move your crap out now. <laughs> like we, we need it gone now. Like you need to make a decision of what you're doing with it. Um, so yeah, we, I had, did go in there at some point last week. Um, I did put a little video up on my Instagram, uh, because I found my old planners, my old Erechondron planners from like eight years ago of like 2016. And, um, I mean, I was a little bit in two minds, like, do I keep them, do I not? I, I did throw them. I mean, I know you're mostly all like, oh my God, like, what are you doing? Like, why would you throw them? Like, and everything, but it's just, it's space, guys. It's like, I have nowhere to put them and they're just literally going to sit in a box. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was pretty brutal anyway, when I first initially went through the house and I sort of went, I was then like left it for a few months and went through it again. And so I'm sort of on about round three or four of being brutal. And I mean, even down to like, I said to James, we was in there over the weekend, um, like getting the large remaining bits out of our old bedroom and I was just like oh I've got like some of the girls baby bits here like I don't know whether I should keep them or not like I don't know sort of I had this in my head of that I was just going to get rid of them and then I've sort of had a bit of like mum guilt set in and James was like well, what are you going to do with them <laughs> I was just like I don't know he's just like well you keep them for sentimental value obviously I was like well yeah and he was just like well okay so we had a little look through and he was just like well I don't remember who was that was for um and I was just like and I picked up this Christmas jumper and he was like well whose was that and I said well that was Harriet's very first Christmas jumper and obviously Star wore it as well so he was just like well why don't you keep that and he was like oh whose shoes are that and I was like well they were Ostara's so he was like well keep them as well and then the rest we just chucked because we was looking through it and I was a bit like oh yeah it's just like I don't know I, don't know, I feel guilty now, but it's gone. It's gone. They're in the skip. It's gone. So I can't go back. Um, but yeah, sorry, I digress then. Digest? Digress. <laughs> digest. What am I talking about? Um, so anyway, so I, um, I've lost my train of thought now. We went to home base. That's where I was going with it. We went home base today and got some of like the big clear plastic boxes. Um, and James was like, right, so yeah, what are you going to do? She's just going to chuck everything in these boxes and then bring it into our house and then, like, sort it out there. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. I said, I will go in there, sort it all out, label them all up. I've got about five at the minute, five eight-litre boxes. I mean, if that isn't enough, like, God help me. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, whittle it down again. Um, but, yeah, so... But I did find in there... Um, my motum covers and uh i found my hope in each week's one and i know i have sort of i don't know if you've seen on if you don't follow me on instagram it's plan and saving essex the same as my youtube but i posted a picture of like me setting up like a little week a monthly setup page and I've sort of got into this thing again that I need a Hobonichi Weeks. And, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because everyone gets on the hype of Hobonichi this time of year. Um, but anyway, I've, spoiler alert, I found one on Facebook, D-Stash, and I bought it. And I don't know quite know what I'm going to do, use it for. Um, whether I actually, like, do plan with me is on, it, on here. I'm not really too sure. Just have it for my personal, like, kind of thing. I don't really know. Um, but I know I've always had one and I do really like them as a planner. I need to find my old one actually, so that I can maybe try out some different layouts before kind of getting into it. Because I think they start at like beginning of December, I believe. So yeah, I could maybe like try and find my old one and just do a couple of spreads in it to try and get the sort of creativity of creativity of and also like trying what the heck I'm going to do with it 
Um, I have been watching some YouTube videos of like layouts. Um, so maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I just need to kind of just, yeah, have a little play in the old ones and see where I go with it. But I do really like Hobonichi Weeks. I do. I do like it as like a little carry around planner. Um, but yeah, we, we shall see on that. Um, so yeah, uh, so that, that's my, my waffle of the week. I'm just finishing up sorting out these daily pages. Um, love doing this. Like, loved doing this. This is what I mean. Like, I'm so excited for next week and for these new sticker sheets that I've found. Um, I cannot wait to buy some more and decorate some more but I'm going to uh, leave this voice over here and pass you back over to me and uh, and yeah that is uh, my week set up and done and I love it and there we have it guys that is the spread complete and my week complete I absolutely love how this has turned out with the extra addition of the pieces of deco on my daily pages i love that as well and just the florals i'm loving florals at the minute especially on clear matte paper i just love it and yeah i'm super excited to be using this for my next week's plan so i'm going to leave it there for today so thank you ever so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up because you know it means the absolute world to me when you do if you got through to the end of the video please leave a comment just saying hi i read all your comments and reply back so i really do appreciate your support there thank you ever so much i hope you're having a great day and a great week as always and i shall see you all soon bye bye <music> Thank you.